Hey guys, it's Jerry with Jerry Pincus Real Estate Experts here in sunny Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and you'll notice today it's not so sunny. Um, in today's episode, we're going to talk about what it takes to be a successful real estate agent. You know, my team and I have helped thousands upon thousands of people buy real estate, and I just want uh, the question that comes up all the time is, is you know, what does it take to be successful? What is it that um, makes one agent get more out of the uh, career than other agents. And in, I'm gonna break it down into four different things that I think are very important that you should keep in mind when you're talking to other people. So I've spoken at a lot of conferences, given keynotes, uh, trained a lot of brokers, uh, new agents, existing agents, people just getting in the business, even people that are calling my office asking me, hey, uh, uh, can we join your team? So I'm gonna break it down into these four things that I think are key that you do need to keep in mind if you want to be a successful agent. Number one, bring value to the other person. Remember who it is that you're dealing with, the consumer, the customer. The customer is the one that you want to bring value to. The internet is a great tool. Uh, people could buy cars on the internet and that sort of thing. Real estate is a little bit different because it is so geographically um, unique. It is very local, type or local actually. But I do want you to know that the person that you're going to work for because you are the one who's bringing them the value make sure that you're giving them more information everything that they could possibly know about anything there is to know and again the rest of it will follow don't sell be the purveyor of information I say this all the time with clients that come in our office and people who uh, my my agents are working with here's the thing once you meet you get in the car, you start showing property. By the end of the day, you're gonna know what's average and you're gonna know what's way above average. That's the difference. It's the purveyor of information. If you decide to buy, that's great. If you don't decide to buy, that's great as well. That's the way you build your business and that's the way you grow. Number two, speak the truth. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, here's the deal. A lot of people will sell, they'll tell you everything that you want to know about something, but the fact is, is there's a lot of things to know. You want to make sure that you're covering all the bases, not just, oh, it's a beautiful condo, look behind me, it's a beautiful ocean view. Of course it is. What else? That's the stuff that will bring you your customer, your loyalty, and you will grow your business. And again, tell it like it is, the good, the bad, and the ugly. If there is something ugly, tell it like it is. Compare it to something else. Make sure that you know all of your facts and figures. Number four, ask questions, especially the question, how can I help you? Because first off, there are questions that your customer knows and wants to know about that you may not have been giving them the information. And always ask what else, what else, what else? So if there's something else that they wanna learn, if there's something else that they need to find out about, answer those questions if you don't know the answer make sure that you find out what the answer to that question is these are things that are going to make you a successful real estate agent again that have helped me my team and many other agents around the nation to grow their business to become very successful if you like this video go ahead and click like or share it with someone who you know who could use it and if you want to, go ahead and subscribe. I've got a whole library of videos here about real estate in our local Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area, the Grand Strand. So wherever it is you are, whatever you're doing today, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.